Hello and welcome back to this Final Fantasy X Let's Play with me, SLJRPG. In the last episode, we did the Cloister of Trials here in Xanakund. And today, we got some shit this isn't a faith. to do. It's just an empty statue. That statue lost its power as a faith long ago. It is Lord Zeon, the first faith of the final summoning. What you see before you is all that remains of him. Lord Zeon is... his soul is gone. Gone? You mean, there is no final Aeon? But fear not. Lady Unaleska will show you the path. The final Aeon will be yours. <laughs> The Summoner and the Final Aeon will join powers. Go to her now. Inside, the Lady awaits. Something tells me it's not so nice. Yuna, wait! Aaron, you knew this was gonna happen, didn't you? Yes. Why didn't you tell us? If I had told you the truth, would that really have stopped you from coming? No. Luna. I'm not going back. Kimari knows. Kimari goes first. Yuna is safe. Kimari protect. So many... So... <laughs> all the Guardians. All the Guardians, Guardian Party. <gasps> Someone's coming! Lady Unaleska. Welcome to Xanarkand. I congratulate you, Summoner. You have completed your pilgrimage. I will now bestow you with that which you seek. The final summoning will be yours. Now, Choose. You must choose the one whom I will change to become the faith of the final summoning. <sighs> we all start there coming. There must be a bond between chosen and summoner, for that is what the final summoning embodies. The bond between husband and wife, mother and child, or between friends. If that bond is strong enough, its light will conquer sin. A thousand years ago, I chose my husband Zeon as my faith. Our bond was true, and I obtained the final Aeon. There is nothing to fear. You will soon be freed of worry and pain. For once you call forth the final Aeon, your life will end. Death is the ultimate and final liberation. Your father, Braska, chose this path. He certainly did. And he chose Jekt. Titus' father to do so. It is not too late. Let us turn back. If I turn back, who will defeat Sin? Would you have some other summoner and his guardians go through this? But... My lord, there must be another way. This is the only way we got now. Fine. Make me the faith. I've been doing some thinking. My dream is back in the other Xanarkand. I wanted to make that runt into a star blitz player. Show him the view from the top, you know. But now I know there's no way home for me. I'm never gonna see him again. My dream's never gonna come true. So make me the faith. I'll fight sin with you, Braska. Then maybe my life will have meaning, you know? Don't do this, Jekt. If you live, there may be another way. We'll think of something, I know. Believe me, I thought this through. Besides, I ain't getting any younger, so I might as well make myself useful. Jet? Whoa! 
What? You're not gonna try to stop me too? Sorry. I mean... Thank you. The bond between you and Braska still has to fight Sin, Oren. Guard him well. Make sure he gets there. Uh... Well, let's go. Lord Braska! Checked. What do you want now? Sin always comes back. It comes back after the calm, every time. The cycle will continue and your deaths will mean nothing. But there's always a chance it won't come back this time. We don't know that. It's worth trying. I understand what you're saying, Oren. I'll find a way to break the cycle. You... have a plan? Checked. Trust me, I'll think of something. <laughs> and thus we learn. The pain of Oren. become a faith. I volunteer. Me too, Yuna. That still won't change anything, you know? You'd bring the calm, and then what? That won't break the cycle. Listen, you want to defeat Sin and keep Yuna alive. You don't want Sin to come back, yeah? That is just not going to happen, brother, you know? If you want everything, You'll, You'll end, end up, up with it. nothing. Ooh. But I want True words. Now you're being childish. I give up. So what would an adult do then? They know they can just throw away a summoner. Then they can do whatever they like. You're right. I might not even have a chance. But no way am I going to just stand here and let Yuna go. And what Oren said about there being a way, I think it's true. You'll think of... something? He is his father's son. I'll go ask you, Naleska. She's got to know something. You really think she'll help you? I don't know. But I have to try. This is my story. It'll go the way I want it. Or I'll end it here. Wait. You say it's your story. But it's my story too, you know? It would be so easy to let my fate just carry me away, following the same path my whole life through. But I know... I can't. What I do, I do with no regrets. I'm surprised Kamari didn't leap here. My dude Oren. I love you so. <laughs> he is the best character. Jay loves Oren. Stan Oren. Right. <laughs> this conversation isn't going to go as well. Have you chosen the one to become your faith? Who will it be? Might I ask something first? Will Sin come back even should I use the final summoning to defeat it? Sin is eternal. Every Aeon that defeats it becomes Sin in its place. And thus is Sin reborn. So that's why Jack became Sin. Sin is an inevitable part of Spira's destiny. It is never ending. Never ending? But, but, if we atone for our crimes, sin will stop coming back, yeah? Nice. Someday it'll be gone, yeah? 
Will humanity ever attain such purity? <sighs> this... this cannot be! The teachings state that we can exercise sin with complete atonement! It's been our only hope all these years! Hope is... comforting. It allows us to accept fate, however tragic it might be. No! no! Where is the sense in all this? Braska believed in Yevon's teachings and died for them. Jack believed in Braska and gave his life for him. They chose to die. Because they had hope. <laughs> Yevon's teachings and the final summoning give the people of Spira hope. Without hope, they would drown in their sorrow. Now choose. Who will be your faith? Who will be the one to renew Spira's hope? She's not going to choose anyone, is she? No one. I would have gladly died. I live for the people of Spira and would have gladly died for them. But no more. The final summoning is a false tradition that should be thrown away. No. It is our only hope. Your father sacrificed himself to give that hope to the people. So they would forget sorrow. Wrong. My father... My father wanted to make Spiro's sorrow go away, not just covered up with lies. Sorrow cannot be abolished. It is meaningless to try. My father, I loved him. So I, I will live with my sorrow. I will live my own life. I will defeat sorrow in his place. I will stand my ground and be strong. I don't know when it will be, but someday, I will conquer it. And I will do it without false hope. Poor creature. You would throw away hope. Well, I will free you before you can drown in your sorrow. Bum bum bum. It is better for you to die in hope than to live in despair. Let me be your liberator. The semi-final battle begins. Now, this is it. Now is the time to choose. Die and be free of pain. Or live and fight your sorrow. Now is the time to shape your stories. Your fate is in your hands. Yuna needs Kimari. Kimari protect Yuna. Well, I'm fighting. I can't believe we're gonna fight Lady Yuna Leska. Give me a break. You can always run. Ah. I'd never forgive myself. No way. Not if I ran away now. Even in death, yeah? Uh, my thoughts exactly. This is everyone. Yuna! This is our story. Now let's see this thing through together. I like how everyone's got their own weapons. Okay. It begins. This is meant to be hard, I know. Uh, right. I'm a little bit emotional, guys, after all that. Haste to just because it's good. Let's do a mental break. She's immune. That's fine. These are annoying. 
Not the end of the world. Actually, no, we can use Riku. She's the perfect person to help with this. Use her Albed potions because it will clear it off blind. It will not, apparently. Okay, that's fine. Let's bring in Waka. None of these immunities are going to work, I feel. We'll bring in... You go. And we'll use a Bazaga. We'll bring in Lulu, and actually, for once, we're going to use our overdrive. Let's use Thundergo. And hope that I can actually do this. Rotate the right stick round and around, I'm doing it loads. Only five, that's fine. Do a Blizzard again. And thus she transforms into this weird ass fucking snake thing. So this thing turns us. does a zombie effect. Which is annoying, but. We want to keep at least one person with zombie on the team because she'll just use this again and again. So Waka is going to be that guy for me. And there she's going to heal us as well which is obviously very handy. Black magic, let's do some Bazaagas. We're going to aim. That's annoying, but with Yuna, she's got Dispel. So let's use Dispel on Waka, and this will keep him without his thing. And then let's do a... A silence and see what we can do here. Immune? Okay, immune. Fine. Let's bring in Titus. That's fine, let's use Ezuna on ourselves. Miss! You fucking idiot. Uh, remedy then. Let's bring an Auron. And I'm okay with that. One. Holy water to yourself there. Okay, is what it is. Bit boring, but we're just gonna have to fight this fight somewhat here. Let's see if slow works. Immune. Okay, that's fine. We missed. That's annoying. I 
I'm going to take Auron out, I think. This is very frustrating. This Hellbiter thing is very annoying. I believe there's th three phases to this. We just need to kind of keep as much look on ourselves as well. And as long as we've got these, we use a remedy on ourselves as well here. That's fine, I'll take one hit. Tidus of attack again. And we're just going to see it down this way. We're going to cane through all of our stuff. But that's fine. Switch out to Yuna. And just have a do of Blizzaga. I'm cool with it. I'm cool with it. Let's do a water grin now. See how much that does. No way near enough. This is gonna hurt. No, it's not. That's great. It's really handy actually. Boom. And we're into phase three. Where we have to fight this Medusa esque looking thing. Mega Death. This should only work against. It will miss the zombied ones, which is fine. Completely fine, because we can use Mega Phoenix. It's going to kill us. But I'm okay with it. Right, let's give a life to Waka. Bring inside us. If only there was Mega Remedy, that'd be such a handy thing. Let's heal ourselves first and foremost. Then we'll do the same for El Uniun. All good. That's annoying. That's very annoying. But not the end of the world. Let's heal up Titus. Remedy. We use next potion on Titus. We need to bring Auron in, really. God damn it. <laughs> we 
Mega Phoenix. It will kill us. That's fine. Remedy to Auron. We're just going to keep on chop chopping away. I'm trying to think about this tactically now. I'm going to remedy up Walker. And I have him heal himself up. Give it to Auron first. I'm going to attack just in case it does make it a death. It doesn't, that's good. Okay, it is. That's fine. So we've got two on the floor in the room anyway. So it should only kill Auron. It's very tactical this, it's very annoying. Uh, then let's use a uh, remedy. All good. Remedy to Auron. Remedy to Waka. We're just gonna attack. I'm gonna bring Titus back in. It didn't hit Tidus, which is nice. So, it's mainly because it, she can cast the healing magic, which is going to be annoying. But let's attack, just keep on attacking. So this is going to take Yuna out. So we're actually going to keep Auron as... The Phoenix as the zombie character now, because why not? Next X potion her. If we get Mega Death here, it's fine. So we get a Hell by Death. Remedy to Auron. Let's 
Nice. So I'm going to exploit that. Get some damage whilst I can. X potion to Auron. And then I'm actually just going to attack. I'm cool with it. And it's going to be up to you now to heal. But luckily that's something she's very good at. With the Mega Phoenixes. So let's just give this out here. It's such a item heavy game this this battle. It's crazy. Right, and we got one more here. It's okay if everyone's a zombie for a little bit. Let's just save our asses and heal up ourselves here. Cause I want this darkness to go to make sure that I hit. Let's use the energy rain overdrive anyway. God damn it, Jay. <laughs> Let's use the remedy on ourselves, fuck it. She might die here anyway. Okay, she's good. Auron to just attack. We're getting close to the end. Let's heal ourselves. Then I'm going to use an Auron Overdrive next chance I get. Then use a, let's use a haste to go just to kind of... We're going to keep these guys on. Who's the regen going to be used on? That's fine. We knew he was going to die anyway. Uh, Lizarga. Let's use Banishing Blade. Up LB, down RB, this way, this way, Y. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. A win for the good guys. <laughs> if I die, so does the final Aeon. And with it, Spira's only hope. Then we'll find Spira a new hope. Fool. There is no other way. Even if there was, even if you did destroy Sin, you, Yevon, the Immortal, would only create Sin anew. You, Yevon? Ah, oh, Zeon. Forgive me. Spira has been robbed of the light of hope. All that remains is sorrow. And there we go. Every character got used there as well, which we like to see. And we got some more level 3 spheres. I cannot believe what we just did. 
Let's do something more unbelievable. What? Destroy Sin, so it won't come back. And without the final Aeon. I don't know how just yet, but I'll find out. There we go. So, we need to go down here. Because we need to grab this thing here, which is for the Suncrest, which we're going to need to get the Celestial Weapon. But I think this is probably a good point to say, if you've enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.